Who won't photo shoot with flash? Is this safe? Hey guys, it's Sissy from Just Kitty Photography Studio based in Sydney, Australia. We all know the best time to shoot newborn is within two weeks. Sometimes can be as little as five days. How to safely use the flash without harming the baby? Of course, as a newborn photographer, safety is our number one priority. Today I'm going to walk you through my knowledge of using strobe lighting safely. Also, what kind of lighting is dangerous mm -hmm. or may potentially harm our precious little human being? Let's dive straight in! First thing first, let's understand my light. I'm using Einstein 640 from Paul Bath. This particular model has been used widely across the world and light is modified with a 1.8 meters umbrella. This light is a strobe light which means it can flash. You can also call this as a flash unit. So when you trigger the camera's shutter, it's gonna flash like this. The strobe is invert sitting on my umbrella, which means it's using bounce light to lit up our subject, which is the baby. The umbrella is covered with two layers of cloth to soften our light. Now, safe lighting, let's talk about three facts. First, your strobe's output needs to be adjusted to a very low level. This strobe can go as low as 1 of 256 with an output of 2.5 watts. What you're seeing now at the moment is the model light. It has an output of 250 watts. When I shoot newborns, most likely my level sits in between 128 and 32, meaning the output of the light is even less than what you're seeing at the moment. So a decent strobe model is the number one fact that you need to consider into your newborn photography if you are wishing to use artificial light. Second, we need a light modifier, which is the umbrella in my scenario here. The bigger your light modifier is, the softer your light will be. So theoretically, if your light modifier is as big as your window, it can achieve a similar look of your window light. My umbrella is 1.8 meters in diameter. Um, some of the windows is not even as big as my modifier. Imagine if you think the natural window light wouldn't harm the baby, why would my lighting to harm the baby? Correct? Number three is optional, sleep. We all know newborn sleeps throughout the day. When we shoot newborns, most likely the baby's in deep sleep anyways. So when you shoot, the flash goes like that and the baby's having their eyes closed. Of course, there's no harm. But the purpose of me putting the baby into sleep is not because it's unsafe to shoot whilst they have their eyes open. A lot of times I even shoot with the eyes open with this particular light model. As I mentioned above, the system that I'm using is safe enough for the baby to open their eyes. But due to the fact that newborn photography session, usually the babies are asleep anyways. So it adds on top of my safety facts that um, it's totally safe to use a strobe lighting. It feels like when you turn up your light in your room. Newborns have a very blurry vision with only from 8 to 12 inches away. Um, they can't see as far as where you are shooting at or where your light is placing at. So the distance of your light is putting is not going to harm your baby. Now let's talk about what is the unsafe way of using flash. Now we all have a camera in our hand. If you don't put the cross on your camera's flash, it automatically triggers the, the flash at the back of your phone. This flash can be very dangerous because most likely when you shoot your baby, we are pointing directly onto their nose or even maybe focusing on their eyes. Now let's consider ourselves as an example. We as an adult, even having the phone in front of our face with a flash on, you will directly feel it's very uncomfortable to our eyes. It's not going to damage our eyes, of course, because we have mature eye systems, but because newborn, they are very fragile. Their eyes are very delicate. You'll never ever shoot with your iPhone, your camera or anything directly onto your baby's face. But if you take your camera away from the baby's face, put it onto the side and cover your flash 
with a piece of tissue that way you'll feel it's a lot less intense of course I'm not recommending you this method to um, photograph your baby what I'm saying here it's just an example for you to understand my philosophy behind the lighting system I use in our studio the light is a professional light the modifier which acts like the tissue is a lot bigger as a parent, it's very important to choose a professional photographer. Newborn photography is not a general that anyone has a DSLR can do. It involves art, safety, delicacy, and science. So whether you are choosing a photographer to shoot your baby or you are planning to shoot on your own, knowing some scientific facts will help you as a parent on your journey. Isn't it? 再见，不录了。